good morning. Today um, we're gonna make a video about these things, uh, tiny cheap fuel pumps. Because um, I asked myself if I could uh, power a water cooling system with it. Um, because water cooling pumps are not as cheap and you get one of those for like 15 bucks. They do up to 60 watts, uh, uh, enough PSI for whatever you need and they run with 12 volt. And I also tried to run it with a PVM controller. Also works but dairy did run into problems um, because this pump isn't working anymore. We had some problems. Um, at first it's, it's now the question why? I mean if why wasn't it feasible for normal water cooling and today we want to find out. Uh, mm. At first we have to look how such a pump works in theory. So. Uh, here we have a, a cutaway from from a model like this pump and we have here the, the entry uh, Behind there is a, a wheel that pushes the liquid up through the motor and uh, out the top um, the thing is uh, this is a brushed motor and uh, the motor brushes and the motor itself is inside the liquid uh, with fuel, that's not such a big problem because uh, fuel uh, doesn't conduct electricity, um, but water does. And in theory, the, the the motor itself here inside should be isolated, but you can't isolate the brushes. And I think that's what killed this motor. Uh, I had had it running about. Uh, 24 hours in in water and then it just completely stopped working it doesn't pull a high current or something it's it just stopped working and it's just humming if i add voltage to uh, to it um but i i was actually quite happy while it was running because uh, you can can run this pump at at 12 volt uh, at 12 volt it's kind of noisy because it's 60 watt but you can also uh, run it at 5 volt and I uh, tried even running it off a power bank at 5 volt it draws about 2 amps and that's it, it, it's dead silent at 5 volt uh, at this moment I was thinking well nice replacement for a normal water cooling pump but then later it just stopped working but it's I'm not sure why it stopped working. Maybe it's because I used a, a PVM controller and uh, it did sound a bit strange with the controller on, but I think that's just because the controller chops up, chops up the voltage and you hear the frequency of the chopping in the motor then and that's the humming. Um, yeah, but it just died. And now we want to find out exactly why. Um, my guess it it it's the brushes uh, they are corroded or, or completely gone because the water just just eroded them away we will find out uh, when i cut this thing open
So now we're gonna take a microscope and try to look at uh, motor brushes. If we maybe see extensive corrosion or something like that. Let me try to get a sharp here on the screen. Uh, can we go a little bit more down? Uh, the motor brushes actually look okay. I kind of wasn't expecting that. Ah, here. Here we have the problem. It's a connection. I try to get it in view. Uh huh. It's the connection from the outside. Uh, here you can see it. From the outside to the inside to the motor brushes. And one of the cables, it, it looks like it burned through. I'm not 100% sure. It could have happened when I sawed this thing open, because here's the cut. But then when we look inside, the cut is... Uh, I, maybe I can get it in picture again. I mean, it's it's not fully on the line with the cut. Um, that could have been the problem. I, my guess is, if I would uh, repair that, then maybe, maybe it would work again, but... I'm quite sure it won't work because, well, we flex it open. Um, <laughs> but yeah, maybe maybe I give that a try. But I'm not sure. Uh, uh, we could also take a little look at the motor because I think that's a quite nice motor, and uh, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with this. Um, maybe make a resin paper paper weight out of it or something like that. I mean, I don't have paper to hold down, but I kind of think this, this uh, rotor, or rotor, strator, I, I think this is the, the rotor, um, in clear resin would look nice. Maybe I do that. Um, but not sure how to get that thing completely clean, maybe with gasoline or something like that. And make it really shiny, maybe with some LEDs in a clear resin block. Could look nice. Or all of the pump uh, like um, an explosive drawing but in clear resin could also look nice. But then I have to find out how to do it with the magnets without... <laughs> um, uh, I will see, I will see. Maybe, maybe I do that, maybe not. But... Yeah, I'm I'm happy we found the reason uh, it stopped working. I guess it's it's the cutted cord inside, and uh, we I didn't found as much corrosion I as I would have expected. Um, let me check the grooves on the. Ah, yeah, here here we see. Because the motor brushes doesn't touch the ring from the sides but from the top not sure why we, we can see we have uh, yeah there, 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 there is enough beef on those on those on those collector electrodes for the brushes that they should work because well we have some they have this spring here <laughs> maybe can show it with the microscope the spring again no get in focus yeah they are very, very springy, and there's there's enough beef on the brushes too, so that wasn't the reason it failed. I guess I it must have been get a why why did it get so much power that it burned through? I'm I'm not sure.
I'm absolutely not sure. Actually, I have no idea. Um, but it was interesting to see this pump open. And if you want to see this pump casted in clear resin, I have fucking no idea how to do this, but write it in the comments and it is maybe the next project. So, uh, like a video about me trying and failing to cast this thing into clear resin and make something nice out of it. No? Uh, until then, I guess, uh, see you next time.